I'm Sean Smith. I'm a regional sales manager with Tarix Washing Systems, covering territories in North America. I'd like to share with you a recent Finds Master bucket wheel installation in the US. I'm going to briefly discuss some of the application detail in terms of the granulometry of the feed material and the required product specification, as well as the washing process employed. I would also like to talk a little about the project background, the sales process, and the significant benefits enjoyed by the customer as a consequence of purchase and installation of the Fines Master system. The customer was an asphalt paving contractor located in the northeastern US who operated a rock quarry primarily to produce stone chip for use in their asphalt mixes. There had been a previous aggregate washing operation on the site under previous ownership. However, the current operator ran an exclusively dry crushing and screening operation. In order to produce the particle sizes necessary for the target stone products, a significant volume of crusher dust was generated. The operator was unable to use this fines material in their asphalt mixes due to the excessive 200 mesh or 75 micron minus content in its as produced state. On average, the material contained approximately 9% passing 200 mesh. This could vary up to 11% depending on the fragmentation characteristics of the rock and the crushing parameters in use. Producing significant volumes of this crusher dust created operational challenges for the customer. There was a small but inconsistent demand for the crusher finds locally and it commanded a very low dollar value. Some of the crushed rock finds could be blended with the quarry process or crusher run material. On occasion where large stockpiles of crusher dust accumulated, the customer suffered issues with the valuable wheel loader resource being tied up handling a byproduct. Such double handling has a direct cost but can also have opportunity costs as primary production is slowed as resources are occupied elsewhere. Whilst the customer wrestled with the challenges and costs associated with handling their crushed rock finds, they were simultaneously purchasing sand from a local producer. Given local market dynamics, high demand for and constrained supply of sand, the cost of the material was high. The local TWS dealer had a long relationship with the customer with a history of not only supplying high quality Terex equipment, but also providing industry leading aftermarket service and part support. The TWS dealer had in fact, through another Terex brand, supplied all the dry process crushing and screening equipment used in the quarry. The dealer had spoken with the customer a number of times regarding the opportunity to wash the crusher dust and produce from it a high quality manufactured sand. Like many rock quarry operators, Despite the obvious commercial opportunity which washing could realise, the customer deferred for a time. Like many operators in the same position, not having washed before, the customer had a certain generalised fear of the unknown and some specific concerns around water and pond management. As a side note, ultimately with the implementation of a high efficiency hydrocyclone based classification system, as well as the construction of a properly designed pond system, the fears around water and pond management were very quickly proven to be unfounded. Eventually with the growth of the asphalt paving business and the associated increases in crusher dust production and asphalt sand purchase, the strength of the business case for investing in a washing system to produce a manufactured asphalt sand became irresistible. The machine was installed in quarter one 2020 as part of a complete system incorporating a hopper feeder, an incline feed conveyor, a slurry fluidization box, the Finesmaster 120BW itself, and a sand stockpiling conveyor. Not only has the installation generated financial benefit, the sand produced is of a superior quality to the sand previously purchased. The asphalt produced with it is superior across a range of metrics, including compaction, void content, pavement ride quality. As a consequence, the customer has actually received bonus payments on state projects through assessment of the above metrics. This installation is a textbook example of the transformation of a challenging byproduct into a high value and high quality product.